Music study on this particular vision. I am going to break this into two parts, okay? Just pay attention. First part was uh, walking. Walking in the forest, the Lord said. So I'll be looking at the meaning of walking, okay? So um, now walking represents... Uh, it's talking about a Christian of today. So more Christian today than ever before are now being groomed, especially in this hour. That is something that the Lord have speak worldwide. Okay. You know, um, yeah, more Christian today than ever before are now being groomed by the Holy Spirit to carry the mentale of a prophet or a prophetic minister like myself, looking beyond what is said out of the mouth of the worldly man and knowing by the spirit what they are really going to do is a must for survival. It's a must that we all, as a Christian, to find our own prophets, okay? It's said in the Bible, you need to recognize your prophets as a living prophet of today. Now, um, so walking in the spirit, walking in the prophetic is to have 2020 insight into what is happening in the spiritual of the rhyme of the spiritual world being able to see ahead of what will ultimately occur in one's life is truly a gift from god knowing the thought of god is required in order to stay within his perfect will all of these things will determine if you are truly walking in the prophetic our heavenly father does not always lay down hard fast rules sometimes we find that what he wants us to do is not acceptable to the mainstream of christianity oh sorry i lost it again but who are you going to please man or god Sometimes what God asks you to do, it will not look normal to your society and the normal mainstream of things in life. So these things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man does not receive the things of Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2, 13 to 16. This is what we speak, not in the word taught us by human wisdom, but in the word taught by the Spirit expressing spiritual truth in spiritual words the man without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of god for they are foolishness to him and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned the spiritual man makes judgment about all things but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment for who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we are have 
but we have the mind of Christ. Apostle Paul in conclude that there are many Christians who are unable to discern what is from God. Many are still following after man rather than the Spirit of God. This is one of the reasons why God has began to raise up his prophets for a time where we all need to know what is around the corner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I, breathing, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal. As to babe in Christ, I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it. And even now you are still not able, for you are still carnal. You're not hearing me here? This is great. For where there are envy, strife, and division among you, are you not carnal and behaving like a mere man? For when one says, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not carnal? 1 Corinthians 3, 1 to 4. Now we will be looking at uh, the meaning of forest, okay? Walking in the forest. This will be the second part of the interpretation of this vision. So forest represents the church as to knowledge or as to external things. It's signified by a forest in David. The field shall excel and all that is therein then shall all the trees of the forest sing psalm 96 12 speaking of the lord the light of israel shall be for fire and his holy one for flame and it shall burn the glory of his forest and his camel it shall consume from the soul even to the flesh which the rest of the trees of his forest shall be a number that a child may describe them. He shall cut down the thicket of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a magnificent one in Isaiah. The forest denote the church as to the knowledge of the truth, Carmel, the church, as to the knowledge of good. In like manner, Lebanon and Hermon, the trees of the forest, denote knowledge. As above, to be a number that a child may describe means few. The thickest of the forest denote memory knowledges. So, um, in the same, though has said by the multitude of my chariot, I will go up to the height of the mountain to the side of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tors, cedars thereof, the choice of the fir trees thereof. Then will I come unto the heights of his border, the forest of his camel. Isaiah 37, 24. I will visit upon your, you according to the fruit of your work, and I will kindle a fire in her forest. Jeremiah 21, 14. Prophesize against the forest of the field unto the south, and say the forest of the south, Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee and it shall devour every tree, Ezekiel 20, 46 to 47. Feed thy people with thy rod, the flocks of thine heritage, who dwell alone in the forest in the midst of the Carmel, Mika 7, 14. Who does not see that in this passage by a forest is not mean a forest, 
and that by Lebanon and Carmel, which are forests, are not mean Lebanon and Carmel, but something of the church. Yet what the church is mean has been hidden meaning, because the internal sense lies hidden, and it is wonderful that that in so learn a world as in Europe above all the rest, where they have the word in every particular of which there is an internal sense. The very knowledge of the sense is wanting. When yet this knowledge exists among the ancient, in Shardel, in Azaria, in Egypt, in Arabia, the threats in Greece, in whose books in blames, such things are still to be met with, but the reason why such knowledge has perished is that there is no faith, that the spiritual of things are difficult to reach the church, the believer. So that is it, the uh, visions, the vision explanation of today and um, it is wonderful to um, just, yeah, the Lord speak of the same thing for now over a couple of days. You know, we have to really, as a spiritual believer, we must learn to embrace our spiritual living. You know, um, God would say we are, you know, a um, spiritual being. Even though we are here in the world, but we are not of the world. So I hope that it bless you with some knowledge, insight of things that are, um, the Lord have blessed us with, you know, just the deeper meaning of life, the bit deeper meaning of um, things that he want to bless his children with. So, um, uh happy new year eve oh no sorry happy christmas eve and um stay safe and stay blessed i will talk to you again god bless you